my number nine, it, there aren't really any instructions to remind us what to do when we have to simplify with fractions and imaginary numbers. We just have to remember that on the bottom of a fraction, we can't have an imaginary component. To take care of that imaginary component, to get rid of it, we need to multiply by something. And what we found is that if we multiply by its conjugate, which is the exact same set of numbers with the opposite sign in the middle, that will make a real number come out on the bottom after we FOIL. We also know that if we're going to multiply the bottom of a fraction, we also have to multiply the top. So we're going to multiply both top and bottom by 3 minus i. That's the conjugate of what we were given. On the top, 3 minus i is going to multiply 1 minus i by using FOIL, or the distributive property. So if we go term by term on the top, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times negative i is negative 3i. Negative i times 1 is negative i. And negative i times negative i is positive i squared. We're going to FOIL also on the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times i is positive 3i. Negative i times 3 is negative 3i. And negative i times i is negative i squared. Now that we FOILed, we have a lot of things to simplify. We can't cross out things top and bottom, so we'll need to just look on the top and look at the bottom and see if we can combine like terms. For example, on the top, we know that we have negative 3i and negative i, which would be negative 4i. We also know on top that we have that i squared. And if we recall, i squared is always negative 1. That means if we really have plus negative 1 here, that's a real number. So 3 out here minus 1 over here would be positive 2. Now on the bottom, we can sort of do the same thing. We can add like terms. 3i minus 3i happens to cancel out. So that's rather convenient. You'll notice we also have, again, that i squared. This time we have minus i squared, which we plugged in as negative 1. Minus negative 1 becomes positive, so 9 plus 1 is 10. As we're looking at our expression, we can see that 4, 2, and 10 are all reducible. So what we're going to do is reduce that term all by 2, which we're allowed to do as long as we do it to everything. That means the first term would be negative 2i plus 1 over 5. Normally speaking, you'll see it written the other way around. You'd see it as 1 minus 2i, but it means the same thing, and you can leave it like this. So our simplified form, which I won't copy in, I'm sure you can find your space, is negative 2i plus 1 over 5.